can. I just dropped my mic. Just starting this YouTube channel about um, my experience in, in real fighting when I did overseas on the ground, illegal of course, did it for a couple of years. And what I'm going to try to do is just show, it started with family members, but show what you can do within a, a year and a half. That's how much time I'm going to need. I can't teach you everything I've learned for 40 years. You got to take it serious. Uh, this is supposed to be for demonstration and educational purposes only. I had a couple people that uh, told me, contacted me and said they really can't hear. And the way I move, they can't read my lips. So I'm going to do more writing than normal for them. And anybody else that may have a hearing impairment. Um, and I want you to do these uh, techniques from the natural stance and watch the stance videos okay let me get back a little bit do it from the natural stance and I, and I say that I keep emphasizing that because you want to get your legs stronger because this is going to lead you down to the front stance to be uh, more powerful and also the willow stance which I may not be out yet but there's a thing I do call the willow stance okay so from the natural stance just like the chain punching, you can watch my videos, but this is kind of like explain it, explaining it more, okay, why I use it. So from here, and I'm not going to go technique wise because the video already out on it. So this hand's out here, this hand's back here, okay. This hand replaces this hand. And you watch the video, it'll show that. It'll show you how to chain punch, okay. Today I'm just going to show why I kind of use a chain punch and why it works in real fighting for me. You know, why one so many matches using this right here because they're not expecting this. They're expecting, they're expecting this right here, okay? So when I chain punch, and of course I may switch to this, but in a chain punch, I can do a lot of damage because I'm not just hitting with my fist. Remember, uh, I fought on the ground, so you can strike the eyes, you can't gouge the eyes, but you can strike the eyes. Okay, that means you can, but you'd have to be really good because you can be disqualified and then some other stuff happens to you. Well, nobody does it on purpose. Well, yeah, they do. Anyway, you can strike the eyes. So when you chain punch, you can strike the eyes with the snake. Um, you can strike as you're punching here. You can switch it to a crane, hit the person, a palm strike. There's different things. Chain punching doesn't mean just fists. While you're doing this, you can switch to something else, okay? long as you've been practicing your hand. My favorite thing was the punch, and then I switched to the Phoenix eye. And since I'm doing push-ups on these, they hurt when they hit you, okay? Especially if I'm hitting you where I want to hit you at. And remember, there's no rules. The only rules was no eye gouging and no biting. Everything else, if you want to hit to the balls, you can do that too. Dislocated knee, you can do that too. And that's why Everybody just didn't do it. More people was there to watch and bet money. There's big money going on. <clears throat> so I have a tendency to get off the subject, but I'll try to get back on. Uh, so I'm going to try to make this a shorter video because all my videos always have part one, part two. So the chain punching, like I said, you learn from the other the previous videos, but I'm just going to kind of uh, demo why I use it more. Okay. So learn that from the other videos. Okay. Now what, what's important is you come from the center. You come from the center. Now, will I fight like that? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna think about coming from the center because I've been doing it so long. I know when I do a chain punch, that's where I'm coming from anyway. Okay, it's just kind of like automatic. It's in my DNA now, like forty something years. But like I said, a year and a half if you practice coming from the middle, the center. And the way I do it, I don't, I do it straight. Straight from my shoulder plex, out like somebody's pulling a string and I'm following. There's a dot there, I'm hitting the dot. I'm coming straight on it. Some schools teach to kind of, kind of go over like this. Now that may work, I don't do that. But I do it from here because my energy is coming from here and my body's behind my fist and it's, it may not be very much time between this and that, but it's still time. So uh, 
get to one point, the straight line is faster. Plus, I'm behind my body. I mean, my fist is behind my body. In case something happens, I'm still using that body weight to make the punch harder. Okay, so uh, chain punching to explain further. That's why I do that. That's why I don't come over here. I go straight, and it's right down from my body. Okay, right between my body. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you how to how I practice this. When I punch, when I punch, I usually hit with this when I'm chain punching, not the top two knuckles. I do a karate strike, yeah, top two knuckles. Or if I'm boxing, I'm going to hit with those knuckles. But when I'm chain punching, I'm hitting with these bottom three. Now, the top two also connect once it makes contact with the surface. But when I get to the end, I'm stretching this part of my fist out. Okay? Now, I'm punching like this and staying there. This is coming out, making it more, just a little bit more power there. So... You won't see it because it's going so fast, but I'm punching like this, okay? Now, in Wing Chun, I'm not teaching Wing Chun. I'm, I use Wing Chun techniques and the other stuff in real fighting, okay? So when I punch like this, you can stop it before your elbow straightens out. If you've been doing it a long time, that doesn't bother me. But when you're first starting, and this is a beginner stage, okay? A subscriber said I should teach beginner stuff. This is a beginner stuff. So punch here, but before you straighten your elbow all the way out, stop it. Stop right there, okay? Don't do this. But you can still punch like this. You can still do that. The punch is here, and then I pop it out. Now, I don't do it in the fight situation. So my mind is not saying hit and pop it out it's all one thing it's instinct now that's just the way i punch when i use this strike this sun fist is what i call it that's what i do it makes it more powerful now i'm going to show how to an exercise i want you to practice do it twice a week and that's if you want to do this twice a week um to start 25 times twice a week, but you want to get up to 50 and more, okay? So what it is, is you're going to stand, I'm going to show just a minute, we're going to switch over to this next segment, but I want you to stand in front of a door, a door that doesn't uh, swing open and close with pressure on it, a door that just, when you leave it in the middle, it just stops right there, unless the wind blows it or something like that, okay? So I want you to get on either side of the door, put your um, three knuckles on the door, I want you to be in your natural stance or semi-horse stance. Don't use shoulder. There's no shoulder comes out. Body doesn't go forward. Only thing that pops out is the bottom of your three knuckles, which with the wrist. Okay? So not this. Not that. Just this. Now, if your elbow is bent, this will help your power anyway down the road. Bent a little bit, pop it out, pop it out. Just use this movement, okay? Shoulder back. Just use this. And I'm gonna show that in just a minute. Okay, back, back to it, okay. Okay, this is like the regular door. This is kind of like my front door. And if uh, there's background rain noise and a little thunder, I apologize if that bothers anybody. But this is like I'm right here. Might as well use this door. So this is my front door. It's a pretty heavy door. Okay, but it can open and close. And once I leave it there, it doesn't move on its own. So what I want you to do is I want you to take these three knuckles. I hope the cameras are catching this. And you're going to place it right at on the door, okay? And your arm is going to be back in this position here. What I want you to do is I want you just to pop, pop the bottom knuckles. 
And once you've been doing this for a while, you can really slam that door, but I'm not going to do that because um, I'm not the only one here, and, and it's, I think it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, people are asleep. So, but I want you to practice this. And it made this move like this when you first started. It may just do that. That's okay. You're, you you got to build up to this. It may do this right here. Like, like nothing. Okay? And then you might have, you might have this. You might be pretty good at it. But what your goal is, is to really, and I, I wish I could do it right now, but I'm not. What your goal is, your arm is more as, as extended out to where it's like you, your final destination for your punch. If your punch is here, okay, that's your final destination. Take that, put it against the door, and from there, just start practicing with popping that up. And I hope it doesn't look wrong on the camera, but just your regular punch. So you punch somebody with this sun fist, not with this regular straight punch with the two knuckles. I can cry out your boxing, but you do the sun fist punch. And when you get to your destination, whether you're extending the elbow or stopping before you pop the elbow, that's where your destination is. That's where you're going to start practicing your punching. You get that. Push the door back on it. And see, if you can see, only my three knuckles are there right now. And I'm at my punching extension that I practice with. And then I practice pushing straight. Because this is straight, but it's straighter, believe it or not, if you extend all the way out. When I say extend, I mean extend this wrist section. When you get here, push it. And that's your practice 25 times, twice a week, and three times it may be, three times a week be better. And you can practice on different doors as long as the door <coughs> moves kind of like, just like this. No wind around it, no springs, like on my storm door out there, no hydraulics, just a regular door. And if it's heavy, that's fine. If it's light, that's fine too. Just practice, just practice pushing. Okay, you got it? And that's the exercise, 25, twice a week or three times a week. Now we're going to get back set up and I'm show some Eagle Claw. Our video content making is <coughs> not easy. I have a lot of respect for the YouTube people now. Hard work. Okay, so that was, um, if you just watched that, that was the chain punching exercise I wanted you to start doing. And just start practicing chain punching. Do that exercise with the door twice a week, 25 times each, each side. And you want to build up eventually to 50, okay? So, and chain punch. Watch the chain punch video. Chain punch for twice a week, any days. And you can, these can be, you can do the door exercises on Monday and Wednesday and do the chain punching on Tuesday and Thursday or Saturday, as long as you do, um, Let's say 30 seconds, okay? Start off slow. You can time yourself. And 30 seconds seem like it's long, but it's not. Because you got to build up to a minute down the road. So you're, you're doing chain punching. Uh, not too slow, but not too fast. And when you get down maybe your last 15 seconds, start going faster. And do it until, even if you get tired, like, oh, you, you got like 10 seconds left. Just try to keep going fast as you can, okay? But do it with, don't do it like this. Do it the way I'm showing you. Do the technique. Don't get sloppy. If you get sloppy, take your time and do the technique instead. Straight from the solar plex. You can, if you're experienced, you can pop it all the way out. If you're not, stop it before you straighten out. <coughs> so you won't damage that cheese. Practice coming from your center line. And one of the last thing I want to say Practice this from the natural stance or your horse stance, okay? Semi-horse stance. But also, I want you to practice, this is my defensive stance. You can call it a boxer stance if you want, but my elbow is kind of down, protect this area. This hand is up, searching hand is always up. And uh, other other form or, or style stance, natural stance, I have it out further, like a net searching hand. This hand is up, okay? When I'm on my de defensive stance, I have like 20% of weight. It may not look like it, 
but 20% of the weight is on this front leg and the rest 80 is on this leg. I want to be able to pick this leg up and kick if I have to. I want to kick with the back leg if I have to. And right now everything is coming at the knee or at the pelvic area. Okay. You want to be able to get them up real fast. And you want to be able to get out of the way. So up by defensive stance. But I'm going to throw a sun fist like in a chain punching. I'm using this instead of the karate punch or the boxing punch. I'm coming down my center line with the sun fist. Same thing as the chain punching, but it's going to be more power because I'm turning into it. But I'm coming down my center line and I'm staying in line with it. Okay. So when I get there, this, all that's going to make a difference. I'm not doing this punch. I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm doing the sun fist from the chain punching. That's power if you've been doing it a long time, especially if you can switch it to a crane, phoenix eye, snake. But this is power using the same punch, but I'm using my driving force with the hips. It's like you're doing boxing or karate, and that's a good punch. It'll knock you out, kill you, but it's still, your arm is still away from your body, taking some energy away here. Is your body weight's behind the strike. So whatever I strike with is going to have more power. So what you do is, the way you do practice this is from your defensive stance here, and this turns into a sun fist, comes out, and the lower hand is kind of like blocked by this front hand. This hand drops, and you're coming from the center of your body with that sun fist striking with the bottom of three. In the door exercise you did earlier, you got that extra power now, so when you hit there, it's gonna be more power, and you put that into it. Okay? And it's fast. Now, from the chain punching, they're faster than your normal punches, okay? So when you do this, you make that first strike, you can start chain punching. You don't have to be from this stance anymore or the Wing Chun front stance. You're from your defensive stance. You throw the strike and then you start chain punching if you want. But that first one is going to be the, the knockout blow. Okay? And don't forget the door exercise. There's some more exercises that you're going to do as far as strengthening that. But the first door exercises. That's number one. You're going to practice that for a couple months. So the way we do this is from the defensive stance. And it's back. And you're going to throw like a chain punch. But it's going to come from the center of your body. It's not going to be this. It's coming from here. Then you can start chain punching if you want. And if you've been practicing the stepping... What I do is I'll punch, and if you do it right, the person's going to go back, okay? And you can stay back there and look all fancy and whatever, but I chase after him. Hopefully, I can step on his toe. So when I do this power punch, and I start chain punching, I start stepping. If I see him go back, I'm going to start stepping immediately. I'm not going to take the full step in here because there's not much room. But I, if we ever do this outside again, which we are... I'll show you how to step. So the practice is getting here, and this is for beginners. Beginners can learn this. That's why you, know, you can always roll the video back. Step, once you get to here, step. But as you step, remember, as soon as you step, when you hit, makes contact with the ground, this foot makes contact. So each step is gonna be like this. I'll try to do it slow. Of course, that's going to be really fast. It's going to be, but I can't step that fast in here, okay? I'm in a small room. So, the practice is do your regular chain punching twice a week from the natural stance to horse stance. Practice from your defensive stance, whatever it may be. Yours may look different than mine. You may have it over here. Person has a knife, so you want to turn your wrist over. 
So you may be in whatever stance you're in, practice the sun fist punch, but practice coming from here. By the time you turn, all that hip action, boom. You've been doing these exercises for extra power, boom. Then you start chain punching, but you step with each punch. Okay? If they're going back, if you hit them with that power punch and they just sit there and his knee dislocating time, you hit, crack the knee, power punch. And if you can get close to hold on, crack the knee, power punch, crack the knee. Power punch, crack the knee. And if you can hold on, continue to hold on. Cause I'll show you what to do as we go down the road, okay? Because this one punch, when he puts his lights out, he's starting to daze and fall over. You can give him a break, let him go, or you can crack the knee, wrap it up, which we're gonna do in a few seconds. 